Hey everyone, Jamie here, and I am pulling out a whole bunch of Art Walk. And a couple days ago, it was National Handmade Day. And even though I'm behind, you're never behind, right? Nothing expires. Handmade doesn't expire. Stories don't expire. Gifts don't expire. So with that in mind, National Handmade Day is about making something with your hands and then giving it to someone else. And that's a lot of what we creatives do already. And so today I'm going to take this bunch of Art Walk and make a fun thing. So let's go. So what I decided I wanted to make today, grabbing my scoreboard and trimmer, is a open win gift book. And so the idea was to use these Art Walk postcards as the item that the recipient pulls out and there's a open win kind of an idea on there. Haven't quite completely figured that part out but I have figured out the opener. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna take 12 by 12 cardstock and we're gonna trim that out. And we're gonna trim, trim that out uh, four inches wide. And we're gonna need two of these. And the reason I want two of these is to reinforce the cardstock. We're just gonna do a single one. It's not gonna be as strong as what we need it to be. So my advice is go ahead and cut Two of these, and what you can do is have, if you have textured cardstock, have it on both sides so you get the advantage of the texture on both sides. And then I'm going to give you instructions to how, how to score it after we adhere them together. So let's adhere them together. All right, so I have adhered together back to back the 12, 12 inch wide by 4 inch tall cardstock. And this is going to make like a gate enclosure for our postcards. So what we're gonna do at this point, I love this scoreboard so much. I've been using my cutter to score, but now I've moved back to this just traditional scoreboard. It makes a better score for me. So what we're gonna do on here is we are going to score our cardstock at three and a quarter on this side and then three and a half. So what we're making here is our the first side of our closure, and it's gonna have some extra space there because we don't want this to lie flat. And then flip that over and score at two and a half, two and a half right there, and two and three quarters right there. Then what you're gonna do is at those folds, go ahead and fold them and score them. Okay, so you can see here that I have scored both the sides. I have folded each of the sides and then I just gave them a good reinforcement with my score tool so that the creases would be nice and sharp. And you're gonna set this aside. So this is the outside cover. This is kind of, it's fun because it makes it super giftable. Um, because of the width of the postcards, I had to go this wide. Now what a couple things we can do here to close this, I've kind of played with this idea before is I put just a big tag here and this flap just kind of stayed underneath it or we can, what we probably will do, we'll take some pattern paper and we can go larger here, but let's get to the next part and that's the gusseted pocket. Take the leftover cardstock and trim that to three inches tall and six and a half inches wide. <clears throat> Leaving the scoreboard out, what you're gonna wanna do is score on each side, each three sides, at a quarter inch. So I'm just gonna line this up here so I can measure a quarter inch over and then another quarter inch over. And we're gonna do that on all three sides. I'm just gonna flip it and do it here again a quarter inch from the edge and a quarter inch from the edge and then along the bottom as well same thing quarter inch from the edge and one more quarter inch up so that's what that should look like for you go ahead and set your scoreboard aside Grab some scissors and on each of the bottom corners, you're going to see these four squares basically that you've scored out. Go ahead and trim those off because then when you're finished trimming those off, you're going to see what the makings of a pocket. And so before we're ready to actually make our pocket, this is what your piece is going to look like. And then grab your score tool again and fold each of those quarter inch folds. Again, make them nice and tight. 
So this is what I call a gusseted pocket. I wanted some width on this pocket because I wanted several postcards to be able to fit inside of this book. So I'm gonna finish scoring this and then we'll continue on. Okay, so now that you have this folded and scored, on the outer lines, the outer fold is where you're gonna to wanna to add some, I would suggest a double-sided adhesive. And so just go all the way around and get that in place on the last of the folds. Okay, so a couple choices you can make here at this point. As you can see, or maybe you can't see, so let me show you. This is just gonna go right inside of the main body of the folded card. And it's going to sit up. It's a little tricky getting in there, but it works. It's gonna sit up so it has some a dimension to it. And that's why we did these in a quarter inch so it can wrap around there and everything fit inside nicely. Uh, the thing that you can make a decision on right now is a couple things. Are you going to put any pattern paper to the outside of your book? Are you going to put any pattern paper on this part of the pocket? I'm leaving this part of the pocket blank and you'll kind of see why when I start to make my cards because I'm going to make a card that hangs over this. So I don't necessarily need this to have anything on it. However, I'm going to choose from the Art Walk Project Pad. There's a really beautiful pattern in here and I'm going to go ahead and cover the, these two panels with that paper. And so I'm gonna take care of that with this and then I'll be right back. the card that is going to sort of overhang here on the front. You're going to totally see what I mean. I'm going to speed this up a little bit as I'm using the paper pad, uh, the six by eight paper pad and um, some paper punches and some stamps and let me show you how this works. first the first tag and because it says open when you first receive this so this will be given the instructions and the rest of the postcards will follow behind okay there's a couple different things you can do to add the open when cards so we've measured this in such a way that the postcards just fit in the back of this just perfectly there's a couple different things you could do and i keep going back and forth because these cards are just so pretty on their own. I have considered folding them in half and making an openable that way. I have considered just embellishing the front and then putting a bit of an envelope on the back and slipping a card in there. But I think I'm gonna simplify the process a little bit more. So I've just shown you, there's just a couple different things you could do with this. You could even cut these in half and make them their own cards as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a stamp to each of these and um, a postage mark as well from the Art Walk stamps. 
I'm going to embellish the front as flat as I can. You guys, you got to know that's a stretch for me to put flat embellishments on something. It just doesn't ever happen. But I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to put on the front of here what my open wind is supposed to say. And I'm going to leave this blank for now. And when I'm ready to get this sent, I'm going to just, I'm going to write a note. There's a couple different ways you can do if wins. You can do little notes. You can do quotes. You can do verses. You can do uh, quippy sayings, whatever. I think I'm going to leave this particular gift and make an actual note on the back. So um, let me show you what that's going to look like. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is add these faux stamps to each of the postcards. And then I'm going to give them a cancellation mark. And then I'm going to speed up the rest of this embellishing here and let you watch how I finish these cards out. So this is all I'm doing here is a cute little stamp and then, and then this little postage mark, which is so cute. So that's what that looks like. Fun, huh? And I'm going to do that for all these. All right. 